Here's a look from Cooper Island, British Virgin Islands as we start off our Friday. Not seeing a whole lot going on here for the most part. Actually, a beautiful blue sky. Some ripples there on the water signifying a bit of wind out there. And then in come more of some darker clouds holding a lot of moisture. Certainly we'll be seeing more of that cloud cover as we head into the weekend. As of right now, the predominant moisture in the Caribbean further off to the west. We're talking Yucatan Peninsula down through Honduras, Nicaragua, even Central America seeing some storms and showers. Greater Antilles is actually very quiet for the most part. Just some uh, scattered showers and storms down they're possibly pushing into Jamaica, Southern Hispaniola. Further off to the east, our region down through Trinidad and Tobago staying dry. But of course, we do have Felipe off to the east. Both Felipe, Rena, both category or I would say tropical storms, weak ones at that 45 mile per hour winds. Felipe expected to uh, increase in strength as it pushes closer and closer here uh, to the lesser Antilles, but eventually taking a northerly turn to head towards Sunday. Winds up towards 65 miles per hour, though, so it could be getting up to hurricane strength or close to that as we head towards early next week, but well off into the open ocean. You can see with Rena, it's expected to decay here as we head into early next week, likely just becoming a tropical depression. Future cast showcasing more of those showers and storms pushing through as we head towards the latter half of our Saturday into our Sunday morning. Going to be some heavy rain across the region here. Some gusty winds in excess of 30 miles per hour will be possible. You can see uh, kind of uh, Felipe taking the majority of the moisture away from what we'll be seeing with Rena off to the north. You can see those showers and storms working on through here, more scattered about heading into Saturday. I do think this model is actually underdoing some of the showers and storms we'll see for our Saturday night into Sunday morning. We do have heat advisories continuing across the region, so not just dealing with some of those showers and storms, but also dealing with some excessive heat out there. We want to make sure we're drinking plenty of water. Future rainfall amounts, I think we'll be seeing a little bit more than that, but nonetheless, uh, still a quarter of an inch up to a half an inch, maybe up to an inch if we do get some of those heavier training showers and thunderstorms that will likely be coming later on Saturday into our Sunday time frame with those precip chances elevated heading into the weekend. That northwest flow, northeast flow, excuse me, uh, continuing on and increasing just a bit as head towards our Saturday night and Sunday. Notice some bouts of some yellow in there too, so gusty winds associated with some of those outer bands that expect to push through the region. Wave heights are going to be elevated way off to our east. You can see a little bit of some green developing. I haven't seen that in quite a bit of time. That means wave heights possibly over uh, 6 to 10 feet can be expected far off to the east, but nonetheless only a few feet here for the open waters between St. John and St. Croix. Further west you go, the less wave action we are expecting out there for these next few days. Saturday forecast, Decent amount of sunshine. I think we'll be seeing a good amount of rain showers and thunderstorms there as we head for the second half of the day into our Saturday night Sunday time frame. We're going to be getting more of that moisture associated with Philippe. As we take a look at our five day forecast, 60% chance of that rain Saturday and Sunday will be a rain uh, whipped a wind whipped rain at that as we head into the weekend, uh, but then we clear out a bit Monday, a few showers possible Tuesday and Wednesday, but more sunshine as we head towards next week. So definitely going to need the umbrella for this weekend, but some beneficial rain in the region and luckily not dealing with, uh, I would say, tropical storm force winds or any of the really uh, big things we kind of see with those hurricanes and tropical storms. Sure.